This is the first picture of the 2.5 million pounds country hideaway the Duke and Duchess of Sussex used to host several A-list friends, including the likes of George and Amal Clooney and Serena Williams. The Cotswold Farmhouse is a historic retreat in the Oxfordshire Hills and is preferred by the couple to Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace. As well as their celebrity friends, Meghan's mother Doria Ragland has also visited the farmhouse, which dates back to the 18th century and comes with four bedrooms. Harry and Meghan acquired a two-year lease in May last year and moved in before their wedding. They are believed to be keeping the property when they move to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor ahead of the birth of their first child this spring. Huge renovations are needed at Frogmore to bolster security, which could cost the taxpayer as much as £5 million and take considerable time. Meghan is said to be supervising the overhaul during her pregnancy. She is due to give birth to her and Harry's first child in late March or early April. The Cotswold estate is made up of a four-bedroom converted barn and a two-bedroom outhouse for staff or guests. The main house has both a downstairs and upstairs kitchen and boasts floor-to-ceiling windows with stunning views of the surrounding Oxfordshire countryside, four acres of which are included in the estate. There is a large dining room and an outdoor seating area complete with patio heaters for entertaining guests on summer evenings. It is also located near Meghan's favorite countryside retreat Soho Farmhouse and the homes of a number of their celebrity friends, including David and Victoria Beckham. According to The Sun, a friend said, it's a fabulous place with stunning views and extraordinarily private. It's set in a small bowl of beautiful countryside so is not overlooked in any way. Meghan adores the area. She and Harry love walking the dogs there, and they can entertain their friends in complete solitude. Newlyweds Priyanka Chopra and her husband Nick Jonas have also visited the property. The picture of the estate shows the farmhouse and smaller cottage after renovation work was completed in 2011 and was published on a freely accessible and public document. Meanwhile, the Duchess has commissioned huge renovations to their new home at Frogmore Cottage, which sits in the grounds of Frogmore House and the larger Windsor estate. The main concern is security to protect them at the 19th century property, with sources claiming there is currently none at all. The Grade 2 listed cottage is just 200 yards from the publicly accessible Long Wall, triggering major concerns about the couple's privacy. Former Royal Protection Officer Ken Wharf told The Mirror late last year, the costs of building and security arrangements could balloon to £5 million in the first year. There is no protection at Frogmore there is no one living there. There are costs of at least two or three private protection officers and to make sure the estate is policed adequately by Thames Valley Police. There will have to be major reviews of the security surrounding that property, exposed on virtually every side. The cottage has previously been used as rented accommodation for members of the royal staff and has since fallen into disrepair, with major building work required before the couple move in. The move to Frogmore is unprecedented in recent royal history, with the couple becoming the first to be based outside London for several decades. A rift between Meghan and her new sister-in-law the Duchess of Cambridge was rumoured to be behind the move last year, but royal sources deny there is any tension between the pair. It will give them more space, upsizing from their two-bedroom home at Nottingham Cottage to five bedrooms at Frogmore. There will be plenty of room for a nursery and potentially a live-in nanny. Meghan's mother Doria, 62, is rumored to be moving from her Los Angeles home to stay with the couple full-time after the birth of her first grandchild.